Hi everyone, happy Friday. Uh, I'm here at our National Canine Conference and what an incredible conference it has been. An absolute joy, I gotta tell you, my heart is absolutely full. To be with these fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and over 80 of our comfort dogs, all gathered together thinking about this incredible ministry that God gives us to go and bring comfort and mercy and to be that presence and that proclamation of Jesus Christ in places where people are hurting and people are in need. It is an incredible joy to be together. As I talk to everyone in this conference, one of the things I shared with them is something I wanna share with you as you go into this weekend. I asked them this question, is it better to give or to receive? That might be an unfair pitting one against the other. I re-asked it this way, is it more important to give or to receive? Again, it may be unfair to pit giving versus receiving. Biblically, there's certainly talk about both giving and receiving. But I want you to consider that the order of giving and receiving is absolutely important. And as an example of that, we look at 1 John 4, 7, which says, Let us love one another because love comes from God. Did you get the order? We are called to give love, but first, we have to understand that that love comes to us first from God so that we can give it away. And that's why this weekend, I wanna encourage you to take time to receive. Take time to receive from Jesus the love that he has for you. Be in church, be with other Christians, gather together, sing hymns, Reflect on the love that he is given to you and receive that love again anew so that as you get ready to go into next week, you're filled up just like my heart's filled up today and all of us here at the Canine Conference. And then you'll be able to do exactly what 1 John 4, 7 says, love one another. I pray you have a great weekend. Get filled up, receive from Jesus all that he has for you and then give it away. God bless you, everybody.